Okay, this is step three in the setup process for the Ruts Cloud UI. Uh, this specific video is going up, is reviewing the photo upload portion of our system. Uh, photos are a crucial piece to the MLS website puzzle and in most cases are needed. So we're jumping back into our query that we had originally set up. This query tested fine, was successful, so now all we have to do is set up our image settings. The first field in our image setting is the field that the MLS uses to look up um, the actual image for a specific MLS property. Unfortunately, this information is not clear in either the metadata um, or any documentation, so sometimes this does have to be requested. Normally, it's the MLS number, but in this case, it is a field called the listing RID. And remember, if you need to look at all the fields, they are in Query Builder. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And they are all in blue. So if we scroll down to the L's, there's listing RID. And this is what the MLS uses to look up the images. Again, not very clear in the documentation, but it is what they use. You can always contact support if you have any questions or are struggling with this specific setup. Uh, we can easily identify the field for you um, depending on the MLS server that you have. I'm going to go ahead and go back. Um, the next field that we do need is the picture count. And again, this is found under Query Builder and the list of fields there. And we also need picture modified date time. Uh, the picture count and the picture modified date time, again, are going to be different. Uh, from MLS to MLS, sometimes it's photo count, sometimes it's image count, or number of images. It just depends on the MLS. And same with picture modified date time. Sometimes this is photo modified, photo modified date. It just depends. The next field is the image structure. If you need a specific image structure um, uploaded, and that means if we need let's say a certain word in front of the MLS ID and the count, then we can go ahead and set that. By default, our system is just going to do the MLS number, underscore, the count, and then .jpg. But again, if you need to modify this, this is where you'll do it in this fourth field. The next option is the IP address or the domain name for your FTP server. Then we have the username, then the password, and then the port. By default, we do default to port 21, but if you have a, not a standard server, then you can put a specific port there. Next is a specific directory that you want the images written to. If no directory is stated, it will try to just write the directories to the first directory that it sees or enters. Um, so if you need it to go into a specific location, make sure that is stated. Once all that information is in, you can go ahead and click Test Image FTP. And if it was successful, you'll get a message. We're actually writing a small file uh, to the FTP to make sure that we're able to upload. And that's it. Once these settings are in place, the system will actually start downloading images and tracking which ones have been indexed already. Um, it will run through it on the hour to make sure that everything is downloading properly and then upload um, every 30 minutes if there's images to upload. At this point, all three tutorials are complete. Again, if you have any questions, you can always contact support either through the phone number or with the email address. And again, 
Contact information is always up at the top under the contact button. If you do need us to, we can actually set up your feeds for you in this system and then you can modify them later. Uh, we do have a small setup feed for that. And if you're interested, just again, contact support. Thank you for your time and goodbye.